creating series of this enlarged peony flower head painting. This is part one, first watery layers with watercolors. An outline drawing is done. This time this is really an enlarged peony flower head. Taking an elastic eraser, removing the excess amount of graphite from the paper. Even if it's large and uh, big flower painting, the rules stay the same. We need as less graphite as possible. These, uh, these peony petals uh, closer to the edge line are quite transparent and we don't need any graphite marks visible underneath watercolor layers. In the middle of this flower head are visible stamens. I'm using old brush and masking fluid. I dipped my old brush in liquid soap so the so the brush is covered with soap and then I dip it in masking fluid. Careful, each stamen covered with masking fluid, really careful, following the same structure the stamens are. I'm not just chaotically covering all center part of this peony flower, no, I'm covering each stamen individually uh, with working with the tip of the brush and masking fluid. After I finish applying, I will go and just wash this brush uh, because the brush is covered in liquid soap, the masking fluid will go easily off the tip of the brush and I am not damaging fibers, the brush will stay as it was from the beginning. Now we can mix watercolors, adding water to palette, starting with permanent rows. I'm putting in, uh, in two for the two uh, watercolor mixes. For the second mix adding a little touch of Indian yellow. Third mix adding a little bit more Indian yellow. Watercolor mixes are quite watery, there's a lot of water because the first layer is for the big, much wider petals and really transparently. Fourth mix, permanent rows. And to this permanent rose mix I'm also adding a little touch of ultramarine blue, really small amount, just to get this violet tint into the pink color mix. Now we can test watercolor mixes that we have on a piece of paper to see how they look. Maybe we need to add something more. The second mix is just permanent rows. Third mix is permanent rows with Indian yellow. And the fourth is almost Indian yellow, but a little, little touch of permanent rose. Adding a little bit of senile year to the second mix and testing how uh, does it look on the paper. It is warm red pigment and manganese violet, a little touch of manganese violet to see the darker mix of these colors. Everything we need to prepare and test before we start painting. This bigger brush I will be using for applying water, the, my usual synthetic round brush and a little bit bigger round synthetic brush. Fine tip brush the same as usual for finer, more thinner brush strokes, lines. 
Now we can start painting. I'm placing paper towel uh, around my drawing paper on that, that area that I will not be working and this is a big uh, area and I need to somewhere rest arm and can happen little accidents. I have paper towel all around so I'm avoiding some kind of little mistakes. Taking the bigger brush and starting with one petal, applying water. Technique is the same, one section at a time. Be sure that your water is clean after mixing watercolors. And starting with the second mix, permanent rose. Also added there uh, from the third mix where it was permanent rose with a little touch of Indian yellow. And looking at the reference and I'm noticing there are some petals which are slighter to the yellow color but still pink. And some petals are more very pink even uh, cooler pink where we have this ultramarine blue but this petal the first one it looks quite warm with a lot of yellows spreading watercolors while the surface is wet using synthetic brush uh, which is size 8 careful with the edges everything is much bigger much wider but technique stays the same it's just a matter of size and painting area looking at reference noticing if I am doing everything right where are lights and where are darks reserving lights lighter and wider as they look in a reference Pushing watercolors with the tip of the brush from darker side to lighter side. finishing first layer of this giant peony flower head applying some other darker area where is visible really darkness and getting ready for the second part where we will add more darkness more contrast thank you for being here thank you for watching and see you in part two of painting peony flower head bye bye